actually, before we get started, I was hoping you could do something for me. A7 and Lotus, could you please place your palms in the red? Um. Huh? Why? If we have the shower room, why don't we just... No, we're not going inside. Once you've authenticated, step away from the door. Why? Please, just do it. Or perhaps you don't want to know who killed Snake and Clover. Oh, fine. What about you, Ace? Lotus? Very well. Sure. I have this idea. I don't think this device responds to a hand placed on it. It instead reacts to a bracelet being brought close. You don't actually need a hand. I knew it. What was that about? How should I know? Thanks, I appreciate your cooperation. By the way, Ace, do you mind if I ask you something? What is it? Do you know who I am? What, what, what kind of question? Just answer it, please. Who am I? You're Junpei, of course. Who else would you be? Unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. Actually, I'm Santa. What? what? Huh. The clothes I'm wearing, I borrowed from Junpei. And the clothes he's wearing are mine. We had a little swap. That's ridiculous. Impossible. So you're saying I'm not Santa? Of course you aren't. Why? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? If you were Santa, th Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. 1 plus 7 plus 8 plus 3 equals 19. 1 plus 9 equals 10. The digital root would be 1. But the four of us just opened door three. You can't possibly be Santa. Your bracelet number isn't. It's five. Right? Hmm. You're exactly right. My bracelet number is five. Sorry, Ace. I tricked you. Of course I'm not really Santa. I'm Junpei. Who could possibly think I was? It's obvious I'm not. To think I was... ridiculous. But I guess you couldn't see just how obvious it was. Hmm. I asked you before, didn't I? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? And you answered... If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. Most people wouldn't say something like that. The first thing that would come to anyone's mind wouldn't be the bracelet number. There would only be one thing they'd say. One sentence. You don't have his face. <laughs> That's exactly what I say when I see somebody wearing somebody else's clothes. It's like, no, I mean, you're wearing, you're wearing Chad JV's clothes, but you don't have his face. <laughs> Ace, you have prosopagnosia, am I right? Prosopagnosia? What's that? No clue. Prosopagnosia is... Very well, I confess. I have prosopagnosia. I cannot differentiate human faces. Is that what this was about? You want to mock me from a disorder? No, no, not at all. I'm not making fun of you at all. In fact, I feel kind of bad for you. No, the reason I brought this up is that there's an excellent chance the person who killed Snake has prosopagnosia. What do you mean? I'll just come right out with it. I think it was you, Ace. You killed him. That's ridiculous. What possible evidence do you? I have three pieces of evidence. First, think back to a few hours ago. You made us argue over the three doors here in the big hospital room. There's no way all seven people would go through them. Lotus suggests that we sacrifice one of us. <clears throat> the new ace said, I'll stay here. Why would you say something like that? It's pretty simple, really. You didn't want us to see the dead body in the shower room. You see, if ace stayed behind, there are only two doors the rest of us could go through. Doors seven and eight. There's no way we could get through door three, the shower room. You knew that, didn't you, Ace? That's why you volunteered to stay behind. Come on, now, I think that's going a bit far. I can understand if you're jealous of my bravery, but... Please don't devalue my actions. 
I only wanted to save the rest of you. Surely you can understand my altruism. Altruism, huh? You already knew, didn't you? You knew that whichever door we took, eventually we'd end up back in the big hospital room. What on earth are you saying? Of course I didn't know that. How could I have known that? Really? Yes, yes! Heh. <laughs> ah, well, that's cool. I still got two more pieces <laughs> of evidence to say you're the killer. The second is that, as I said earlier, you have prospagnosia. And you mean to imply that a person who can't distinguish human faces must be a bad person. Junpei, they call that prejudice. No, I'm not that stupid. Then why? Well, before I explain, I suppose there's something I could tell you. The corpse in the shower room. It's not snakes. What? What? I didn't put it together right away, but there was something Clover told me. She had that snake's left arm was prosthetic. He lost real arm in an ask accident. But the body we saw in the shower room. Let's call him Guy X. Guy X. Guy X's left arm is definitely flesh and blood. In other words, Guy X couldn't possibly have been a snake. Oh God. No, that's impossible. Let's say hypothetically that the killer didn't have prosopagnosia. If that were the case, he would immediately realize that Gaiax was a snake. Even if the clothes were the same as snakes, their faces would be completely different. It would have been obvious that they were different people. And yet, they still killed him. Why? Why would they kill a stranger who'd only just shown up? On the other hand, if the killer did have prosopagnosia, it makes sense. They thought Gaiax was a snake and killed him. Wait, wait just a moment. Let's say you're right, and I mistook Gaiax for Snake. Even if I did, I would have had no motive to kill him. Why would I want to kill Snake? I can think of at least two motives. One, Snake knew about your past. If he ever revealed what he knew, that would have been really bad for you. He didn't want that to happen. So to make sure Snake's mouth stayed shut, you killed him. Two, Snake had a grudge against you. You knew that, or at least you could have easily assumed he did. Even without exposing identity, he was a threat to you. You never knew when you might be attacked. You couldn't ever let your guard down. Every moment was a moment he might try something. You didn't want that kind of danger hanging over you, so you... Hey, hold on a moment. What's the past that Ace wouldn't want us to know? Why does Snake have a grudge against him? Look at this. What's this piece of paper? The Nornery game was played once nine years ago. The person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago. It was planned by the following four people. Cradle Pharmaceutical CEO, Jintaro Hango. What is this? It's the message from Zero. It was in the safe in the first class cabin. Give me a break. That paper is a lie. Someone is trying to fray me. Me? You said me, right? Wouldn't that mean you're admitting you're Hango, the CEO of Cradle Pharm Pharmaceuticals? Or am I mistaken? Very well, I admit that much. I'm certainly the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals, Gentaro Hungao. So what if I am? I don't know anything about this nonary game that supposedly took place nine years ago. Everything on that scrap of paper is bullshit. Someone is trying to set me up, you see. First of all, first of all, Junpei, you're claiming I did this all by myself. Think that over, all right? How could I have killed Santa all by myself? Or, to say Santa- oops. <laughs> killed Snake all by myself. Oops. Uh, ah. He, he not Snake. Santa. While we were talking, he killed Santa. <laughs> and nobody noticed. <laughs> not Snake, it was Guy X. I don't care who it was. You said the killer put this other man to door three, right? Yeah, maybe. I couldn't have possibly done that alone. No, you could have. I couldn't have opened door three with only myself and Guy X. Nope, Number you could have. Nine. <gasps> what? Actually, Ace, when you were unconscious, I took something from you. Remember when you injected with that anesthetic and fell asleep in the big hospital room? Yeah, back then, I took this. No, you couldn't have. I got you, Ace. Your right hand tells me all I needed to know. You want to tell me what you were so worried about? What's in your pocket? Double bluff. It's the number nine bracelet, isn't it? Ace, Gaiax, the ninth man's bracelet. That was all you needed to open door three. That's how you killed Gaiax all by yourself, Ace. Ace, all you needed was the number nine bracelet in your chest pocket. If you want to play innocent, that's fine by me. Go ahead, tell me I don't have the bracelet if that's what you want to do. But if you could take off your coat and hand it to me, I'd really appreciate it. 
Otherwise, we'll have to take it from you by force. Right, Seven? Yeah, it'd be my pleasure. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Well done, Junpei. Oh, he even has a, <laughs> a secret heel turn portrait. As you so correctly deduced, I have the number nine bracelet. So casual. I retrieved it while we were searching for the mi missing hardware for the red. I left the room I was supposed to search and headed to the first class cabin on B deck. My purpose was to obtain the number nine bracelet. Nine is a potent ally in known or a game. Adding nine to any set of numbers won't alter the digital root. As you can see, nine is a very useful number here. With it, one can go anywhere with anyone. It is, I suppose you could say, a game changer. So I made for the first class cabin to open it. In mere moments, I successfully acquired the number nine bracelet. There was also an unexpected bonus. The knife the nine ma ninth man had used. Quickly pocketed both of them and left. I made my way back to where I was expected to be. That's when I ran into Snake. Well, this guy acts actually. I spotted him ahead of me. He was heading for the large hospital room and hadn't noticed me. The man wearing Snake's clothes arrived at door three. When he stopped, I walked up behind him and called out. Snake! He turned around. He said nothing, his mouth simply hung half open. He seemed dazed somehow, almost like a man half asleep. Perhaps he had been drugged, it wasn't important. I tend to gloss over little things like that. I was certain that man was Snake. I knew Snake had taken part in the Nonary game nine years ago. Being blind, it made sense that he didn't recognize me immediately upon our first meeting. But why then had a Snake said anything to me later? Surely he, had, he hadn't forgotten what had happened to him in the Nonary game. Not once did he attempt to confront me. Did his lack of sight prevent him from fully recognizing who I was? Perhaps Snake had conspired with Zero to deceive me. Regardless, he was a threat, and it was better to deal with him sooner rather than later. I had to get rid of him before he took action. With quick thinking, my plan went into motion immediately. I held the number 9 bracelet over the red. I waved my own bracelet in front of the red, then grabbed Snake's arm and shoved him against the scanner panel. The, nut the door opened. I threw the man through it. Nine seconds later, the door shut. 81 seconds passed. After that, I returned to my post as though nothing had happened. After conducting my own search, I returned to the large hospital room where the 1 a.m. bell rang. Ace, did you kill Clover? Yes. Why? Why did he kill her? She was Snake's sister. It was possible he had told her something dangerous. Additionally, she had gone through door one. It seemed likely she may have found it. Found what? Why don't you go through door one yourself? Perhaps it hid somewhere. Yeah, but Lotus and I went through door one too. We didn't see anything suspicious. Yeah, I thought as much after I heard your report on the central stairs. I doubt the two of you could find it. But perhaps Clover was different. Perhaps she had found it. I was therefore desperate to find her. And at last I did in the first class cabin. I spoke very calmly. Did you see it? See what? Don't act as if you understa don't understand. You were in the captain's quarters, weren't you? Huh? What are you talking about? Hmm, very well. By the way, what are you doing here, Clover? Not nothing. There's blood on your shoes. It looks fresh. Did you go take a look at the ninth man's corpse? I see. Your silence suggests that he noticed. You saw something, didn't you? You saw that his bracelet was gone. You got distracted? No! <laughs> you aren't going anywhere. I didn't. 
I, I, I don't know where I'm going. Ah! You're staying here. No! Just don't you run, little girl. That was how I killed Clover. Oh, oh, oh. You might, you might lose audio for a second. You son of a biscuit. There we go. Heh. <laughs> I admit it. I've lost. I've completely lost completely and utterly. Uh... Don't misunderstand, Junpei. I didn't lose to you. I lost to Zero, not you. Rather disgusted with myself for falling into such a simple trap. I looked the fool. It was a trap, make no mistake. I was trapped and manipulated by Zero. The man I killed in the shower room. If he wasn't Snake, then I have no idea who he was. But he was wearing Snake's clothes, and that was no coincidence. He had also been injected with something that reduced his cognition and prevented him from identifying himself or resisting me. We can't forget the components that were removed from the, R the red before we arrived. I have no doubt that Zero planned all of this. Zero made sure I would kill that man. It follows, of course, that Zero knows everything I would do. That I would try to take the number 9 bracelet. That I would try to kill Snake. Everything. I must punish them for the innocent lives they sacrificed. This is the only warning they will receive. That innocent souls might be saved and I'll state the truth. Zero. I think Zero is one of us. <laughs> Zero is one of us? No, wait. There's one more person. Snake. The man who died in the shower room isn't Snake. That means he's almost certainly still alive. Maybe Snake is Zero. Maybe he made Gaiax wear his clothes so we'd all think he was dead. Where's Snake now? What if he's off somewhere laughing at us? If he is Zero, he must have been lying to us about everything else. Is he watching us? Well, I believe I finished with my confession. Why don't we get moving? What the hell is this shit? You aren't going anywhere, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna leave your ass here to rot. Why? Because I killed Clover. That's ridiculous. Why are you so upset that I killed the little bitch? She was nothing to you, a stranger I only met a few hours ago. Am I wrong? You bastard. <gasps> Blindsiding me with a punch, huh? You got some fire, don't you? I confess, I rather like a tough woman. Well, maybe she'd like another one, then. Ah, uh, before that, let me give you one of my own. Huh? Oh no! If any of you, if any of you so much as blink, I won't hesitate to pull this trigger. I've already killed two, no, three people. Don't think I'm not ready to make it four. Three people? What do you mean? Very well. Let me take this opportunity to illuminate you. The person who killed the ninth man was me. Although I suppose to be more accurate, I encourage him to get himself killed. While we were examining the main staircase, he came to me and told me his name. I recognized it at once. So I gave him a little push. Just a little white lie. It seems the settings for the dead were altered. Now it only requires a single person to deactivate the detonator and the bracelet. Investigate what's beyond door five. We'll meet again later. And with that. This is the other thing. Well, okay. Have a good one, guys. I'm going to head off now. Well, then. It's been so long. This is still you? <laughs> Crap. Why is it stopping? Gosh darn it. You, 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 you lied! Oh, open the door, please! I'm begging you! Oh, help me, please! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! 
Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, there's no time left. Listen, I was like to be lied to me. He put me in here. It was him. He killed me. It was him. Why didn't you say his name? Yeah! <laughs> I had four reasons for killing him. As I said before, in the Nonary game, the number nine brace is of utmost importance. If I had allowed him to keep such a useful tool, he, or it, would have become a threat to me. As such, I decided that he should be eliminated early on. I wanted the number nine bracelet. If I could manage to obtain it, I would be able to manipulate the game as I saw fit. I'd be unable to acquire the bracelet unless its owner was dead. That's the second reason. Even setting aside his number, he would have been nothing but trouble for me. He was aware of my past. He knew what happened here nine years ago. It's important that I eliminate him before he was able to disseminate this information. Lastly, I wish to conduct a simple test. A test to see if this nonary game was serious or a poor attempt at a joke. I needed to be quite sure. As such, I encouraged him to act against the rules so that I might observe the outcome. I don't get your third motive. What the hell happened nine years ago? Did I say the nonary game was played? I planned it out and conducted his execution. Why? Why on earth is it supposed to do? I don't really think I have any obligation to tell you that. Hey, what's with this gun? Where did he get this? Why don't you tell her, Santa? On the other side of door six, we found the gun in the coffin in the cargo room, right? The bastard must have grabbed one when we weren't looking. Indeed, I did. It was a pretty mysterious, serious mistake, you know. Just saying you intended to leave it behind. Well, there isn't much time left. I'll be off then. What, where are you going? Do I really need to explain? I'd assumed it would be obvious. If I had the number, I have the number nine bracelet, and now I have Lotus. Wasn't there a door with a nine on it in the room that looked like a church? That's where you're going, isn't it? And how do you know that? Santa told me about it when you were looking for Clover. I see. Well, you're correct. That is my destination. But now I must say goodbye to all of you. Uh, and please don't forget my warning. Move and I'll pull the trigger. I don't need her alive to open that door, you know. Shit. It's getting away. But we can't risk it. A lotus, open the door for me if you would. Mm. Goodbye. What if the gun had no ammo, this dragon? Damn it. Ah. Hey, June, what happened? Are you alright? <sighs> Jesus, you're burning up. Your fever's back. Are you okay? What? The very severe. <laughs> the very severe look that Santa has. His hands are huge. Those are like yaoi hands. Yeah, those, are, those definitely are like yaoi hands. That's funny. June? I'm okay, really. I'm fine. Should be worrying about Lotus. But. Jumpy, don't worry about me. I just need a little rest. I'll be fine. Don't you remember? I just needed to rest a little bit uh, last time. So please, please save Lotus. Think about what Ace has already done, Jupe. Well, he's got what he needs from Lotus. You really think he's just gonna let her go and walk away? Damn it. You guys go on ahead. As soon as June starts feeling better, we'll follow you. Go! All right, come on, Seven. We're going after going after Ace. Yeah, hell yeah! Santa, you take good care of June. I'm trusting you. Got it. Let's go. On the elevator. To the door, and here we are. <laughs> I'm 
me some panting, but where, it's fine. Uh, where, where are they? I don't see them. Do you think they uh, already went through? Maybe. Let's check the red. Engaged. It's occupied. That means Ace and Lotus went through here. Yeah, it seems like it. I was just reading a funny text message. I apologize. What do we do now? Yeah, what should we do? Well, the big door is still vacant, but... The two of us can't do anything with it. Yeah, not even counting it, how our digital route isn't, isn't nine. What's that sound? Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. It's coming from over there. The coffin. Yeah. Let's open it. Oh. By force. I don't think that's going to happen. Well, you never know until you try, right? The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer 1,000 failures. Who said that? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we've got to try. <laughs> that wasn't even that wasn't even <laughs> in character. That wasn't even in character. Damn it. You're looking it up, aren't you? See, yeah, I am. Did I tell you? If you could just pull it open, why would it have something like that? Right, so unless I put in the right passcode, it's not going to open. Is there some sort of clue somewhere? Hey, Junpei. I remember you mumbling about some weird numbers over by the bathroom in the first class cabin. You got those numbers by solving the secret message Clover was holding, right? To the gone, uh, something like that. Yeah, that's right. What about it? Maybe that number is the passcode for this thing, too. Come on, that's impossible. Those numbers are the code to unlock that safe. Yeah, but the person who set up the safe in this coffin are the same, right? Zero set up both of these. Yeah, probably. Well, they might have been set to the same password for both of them. That's ridiculous. Well, we just try it. I mean, it's not like it'll make things any worse. It'd just be a waste of time. There's no way they're the same number. How do you know that? You never know until you try. The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer a thousand failures. Who said that? <laughs> you. Like, fine. One four three eight three four two one. Back open. What? You gotta be kidding me. Snake. Uh, you? Why? Ah, those voices. June Payne Seven, unless I'm mistaken. Where are the others? Are they elsewhere? Hmm. hmm, I see. I believe I got the gist of everything. Have I been sufficiently caught up? Y yeah. That still doesn't explain why you're trapped in here. Yeah, the only thing that seems to be a reference to is this game specifically. Yeah, I was worried about you looking up the defense spoilers. No, it's fine. It's all just quoting Junpei. There's still, there's still, we still no clue about Zero's true identity, let alone why the hell he's doing all this. Why did he put Guy X in Snake's clothes? Is all this stuff somehow related to that notary game that was played nine years ago? Hmm. Hey Snake, do you know anything? Um, what are you talking about? I apologize, but I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, come on, just tell us if you know. I don't know what to tell you. How can I know something I don't? This is bad. We're running out of time. We need to go after Ace. What do we do now? 
three of us can't make a digital root of nine. Yeah, we just get five. We're stuck here, then. Oh, hey, I just remembered something. What? What is it? Oh, that's you. What is it? I uh, found something earlier. What did you find? This. Zero. Zero's bracelet. What did you say? Are you saying that seven has the number zero bracelet? Yeah. Where did you get that? Clover uh, gave it to me. She did? Yeah. How did she come by it? Well, she found it, see? On the other side of door one, aid deck in the captain's quarters. Oh. She asked me to hold on to it because it was too big and bulky for her to be lugging around. He's lying. He even told us earlier. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to start the crime scene, you know, basic stuff. Well, I did borrow one thing. He probably said that's a snake because I found out about Clover. All right, you big, bit nice knowing you. What? Come on, I'm just kidding. So just in case, I want to make sure the zero bracelet gets picked up by the red. Snake, give me a hand, all right? Huh? Why isn't it opening? Hmm. Well, the third asterisk lit up, so... Must have registered the zero bracelet. Maybe it isn't actually zero. Huh? What? That bracelet may not actually produce the number zero when scanned. That is what I'm saying. Huh? Why don't we try a few different combinations? Perhaps we can determine what number that bracelet actually contains. Oh, God. Got it. Does that use the following combination? I mean, just guess. Snake is two. Junpei seven. Five. What? Together they make seven. Right? Junpei's five, right? J Junpei's five, yeah. So seven. I don't know what you're thinking about. This is just a guesswork thing. Uh, do all four of them. Let's try all three of us and the bracelet. This combination works, and the number for this bracelet is four. Didn't open. And this bracelet is not four. Then they decided to use the following combination. Shouldn't pay seven and the bracelet. Let's try me seven and the bracelet. This combination works, and the number for this bracelet is six. Six. It opened. Yeah, so it would seem. That means the brace is actually six. But how is that possible? The display on the brace that clearly shows a zero. <laughs> Someone would lie on the internet? Actually, if I remember correctly, I think I don't say they say I think they say this in game, but it's supposed to be an O, which the digital root I think is a six. Disgusting. Oh man, that's not good. I guess our time's just about up, huh? At any rate, we know now that the door can be opened. Let's go. But Snake, are you sure? Yeah, you know that only Jupiter can go through this way. You needn't worry. I have a solution to this problem. My last resort, but if now is not the time for last resorts, then when? Last... <laughs> he just pops his arm off. Resort?
Got to admit, you surprised me there, kid. I would have figured out how the hell you were going to get out of that one. How come you didn't do that right off the bat? As I told you, it was a last resort. Had I used it at the beginning of the game, I would have come under a great deal of suspicion. I imagine that most people are taking it to mean that I was zero. Once they've convinced themselves of that, I wasn't optimistic about my chances of making it out of here alive, let alone unscathed. I felt it best to play my cards close to the chest, as it were. That way, if I were in a situation where there was nothing else I could do, I'd have a little trick up my sleeve. I'd just take my bracelet off. My brother's left arm is, um, not like a normal person's arm. It's fake. It's not a real arm. I know this is kind of a weird thing to say, but I'm glad that's a fake arm. Don't have to be afraid of the door if you don't have a bracelet. You are correct. I think these stairs connect to the bottom deck. Doesn't look like it's underwater. Let's go through that door. Incinerator. Oh my, that doesn't sound very pleasant. You see a lever near the gate, perhaps. Yeah, right over here. Hey. Do you know what? That's not what it said. <laughs> How did you know that? Well, I'd be happy to regale you with the story. I imagine it should only take half a day or so. I am disassociating, my dudes. Let's go. Ugh. <laughs> if you pull it, the door ought to open. Got it. Well, I mean, we're approaching an ending, so we might as well finish this. Yeah, I'm not in a rush. I'm just saying, like, my attention span, you know how it gets. What? Why? Why is there another one? Warning. Warning. Emergency incineration command has been acknowledged. Automatic incineration will take place in nine minutes. Please nine evacuate persons. the incinerator immediately. Nine doors. Oh my, how exciting. You run quite a show here, Zero. What's the matter? Too frightened to understand? Here, let me explain. It's said that the incineration system is about to activate. In nine minutes, this room will be engulfed in flame. Huh? Who are you? You don't recognize me. I'm hurt. It's me, Snake. Snake. Ah, uh, yes, you are alive. I'm afraid your bizarre style had me confused. I'm quite glad to see that you're alive. If you don't mind my asking, how did you get here? Snake Junpei, Snake Junpei 7. The three of you couldn't have opened a door with a 9. Did you use Clover's bracelet, perhaps? What? Ah, uh, well, your reaction suggests that you did not. Hold on. Why did you think we'd have Clover's bracelet? Oh, they haven't told you. T told me what? <laughs> Clearly not. Normally, I would take some time and enjoy the moment, but I'm afraid my time is at a premium not just now. I'll have to make this quick. Clover. Don't do it, Ace. Keep your goddamn mouth shut. Clover. I said stop it. Don't listen to the snake. What happened to Clover? <laughs> Clover died. No, that's not true. That's impossible. It's a lie. It has to be a lie. Oh, it's quite true. I can assure you of that. I killed her myself, you see. What? I'm sorry. Did I stutter? I killed her. I would have rather she died with less suffering. A bullet in her brain, perhaps, would have been ideal. Unfortunately, that would have made quite a bit of noise. Circumstances being what they were, I was forced to settle for the knife. The one the ninth man had, you remember. I believe I caught her just below the shoulder blade. I was rather lucky, in fact. My first thrust went right between her ribs. Her flesh was so soft. My knife slid in so easily, there was no resistance. So rude. That feeling was, I confess, I feel rather excited. It is a powerful memory. Someday, perhaps, I hope I can feel it again. Incineration will begin in 
Seven minutes. Got a taste for killing. I'm going to kill you. Oh, his eyes are open for the first time. Yeah, yeah, you know, shit gets crazy. Like, it's when he opens his eyes. And then when a blind man opens his eyes. It's like know, Brock like opening his eyes. <laughs> Brock the Rock Johnson. What was that? I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Ah, so you're going to kill me. Please do. Come now. I'm waiting. Don't do it. Don't listen to him, Snake. Stop it, kid. He's screwing with your head. Is there a problem? What are you waiting for, boy? Don't you want me to send you to join your sister? Don't, Snake. Just don't do it. Uh, ah, gah, snake. Snake. Yeah. Lotus. Hurry this way. <clears throat> Incineration will begin in five minutes. Why is it only talking odd numbers? It's really weird. <laughs> Incinerator will op will begin in one point three. Minutes. Well, did it on nine, seven, and five? What a weird countdown! <laughs> Give me the woman. I need her. Without her bracelet, I will be unable to open this door. Quickly now! I don't have time for your shenanigans. I see, and it would seem I have no choice. The rest of you must die as well. Fortunately, I have five bullets left. One for Junpei, another for Lotus, and the last three for that lump of idiotic man you call Seven. I'll take Lotus's body with me and leave this room. Incineration will begin in four minutes. Oh, there you go. Proved wrong. <laughs> yeah, but it's still weird. Nine, seven, five, four. <laughs> well, it looks as though our time together is at an end. I rather enjoyed playing with you. Damn it. Goodbye. Kill you. What? No, that's impossible. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Stay, stay away from me. Get back. Stop. If you come any closer, I'll get away from me. L listen to me. I said, don't come any closer. Shit, you bastard. There's all five bullets. Incineration will begin in three minutes. <sighs> Finally, you're... I'll kill you. You won't get away. You, you son of a bitch. You're, you're a monster. Get off me! Let me go! Damn you! Gah! Ugh! Ugh! This is it, Ace. We're going to burn to death together. What? Incineration will begin in two minutes. Ah, uh, damn it! Damn you! Get off! Let me go, you monster! Okay, 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 look, think about it this way. My company owns a wonderful hospital. It has excellent doctors. You're, you're not wounded too seriously. I'm sure they can fix you up easily. <laughs> you don't have to die. You can be saved. Just let me go. That's for it. <laughs> Pathetic. Begging for your life. Snake, that's enough. You, you can stop now. He's, yes, he's right, Snake. You've done enough. Come on, Snake. Let's go. Let's get out of here. You have to come with us. We have to leave together. I apologize, but I'm afraid I can't do that. You'd best forget about me. You need to leave soon. I'm going to take him with me. 
Shut up. Be quiet. I couldn't save Clover. My sister died because of me. Perhaps this will begin to atone for that. Perhaps in the afterlife, she can forgive me. Now go. Go now. You have to go. The narration will begin in one minute. Gosh darn it, poop. We gotta get out of here. We're out of time. We gotta go. Junpei, what are you doing? You have to get out of here. Now. Snake. 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 What? Don't be an idiot, Junpei. No. No, I have to help Snake. 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 Get off me. Let me go. That's copyright infringement, Junpei. We gotta get out of here. Incineration will begin in 10 seconds. Seven. Six. Damn it, I'll have a choice, kid. Don't blame me for this, alright? Ha! Uh, 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 five. Four. Three. Two. Ugh. One. Zero. Gates 2 and 3 are locked down. Beginning incineration. He's... Shit. Damn you all! Why? Why? Why me? I don't... deserve... this! Answer me! Answer me, Zero! Why? Why? Zero! Zero! Uh -oh. Zero! That would suck. Very unfortunate. I mean, he does deserve it, though. <laughs> he does. He does. He's the CEO of a pharmaceutical company. <laughs> hey, wait, Jupe. It's probably still really hot in there. Jupe, where are you going? You stay here. I'll go get Santa in June. You gotta bring him here? How? Don't worry about that. Just stay here and wait, all right? <sighs> it's on an elevator on the way here. If I can get to work, then maybe... Please work. Yes. June, Santa. Ugh, damn it. Where did they go? Man, well, I, you know. I can't keep track of the paths, but... <laughs> the images, I'm pretty sure, are accurate, though, in a lot of pathing. <laughs> It'd be funny if it wasn't. Just like, showing random just, like, rooms. Two... Yeah. Like... Connie! T Connie! No, it can't be. It's impossible. Connie! Connie, Connie, are you alright? Jumpy. Oh man, Connie, what the hell happened to you? You, you feel... Jumpy, I'm sorry. I'm, I might not make it. No way. No way am I going to let you die. I'm going to save you, I promise. Thank you, Jumpy. Thank you so much for everything. I was really happy to see you again, Jumpy. Really happy. Don't give me that I was crap. You're going to see me again lots more times. 
It's still grammatically you've, correct. You've just got to hang on, all right, Connie? Jumpy, did you know that your baby boy, you made a lot to me when we were kids. I liked you a long time, Junpei, a really long time. Isn't this the whole conversation with the... Game. Game over. <laughs> Junpei, zero. you got your voice modulator for zero. You son of a bitch, where are you hiding? I am right here. I have always been close to you. What the hell are you talking about? No matter. I will tell you again. Game over. This game has ended. No. No, it hasn't. I'm not going to let it end yet. I'm going to get out of here with Connie. You can't. That is impossible. Why? Because you chose the wrong path. What? The wrong path? That is correct. Your path was inevitable, however. Admit defeat. Where there is light, there, where there is shadow, there is light. Where there is the absence of light, there is no shadow. So it goes. What are you talking about? It matters not. The loser has been decided. I told you, I'm not going to lose. No, you misunderstand. You haven't lost. I have lost. What? Connie, wait here. I'll be right back. I promise. Damn it. Where are you? Doesn't matter. I need to get Connie out first. C Connie? Oh, God. No. No. Where is she? Connie. 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 Connie! <laughs> Wait, this is... White smoke. Oh, um, credits for this one. That's the second one we got credits. Uh, does let me skip the credits this time? It does, because we've seen the credits before. The end, or is it? Or is it? Achievement unlocked. Uh, Chance of loss is not zero. Uh, Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. April 4th, 1912. Titanic. Is this a Gourmet. dead body? Who do you think did it? Now it is time that our game begin. Achievement unlocked. A sixth sense of what's coming. Okay. Oh, one more ending. 